session of Mommy Teo Teaches Math. Our topic for today is illustrating extreme value theorem. What is this extreme value theorem? Let f be a function which is continuous on a closed and bounded interval a, b. Then the extreme values maximum and minimum of f always exist. And they occur either at the endpoints or at the critical points of F. Take note of this. When we say extreme values, we are referring to the maximum point and the minimum point. A critical point of a function of a single real variable, F of X, is a value X sub 0 in the domain of F where it is not differentiable or its derivative is 0. That is, f prime of x sub 0 is equal to 0. To obtain this, we take the derivative of f and equate the result to 0. So we will be illustrating that later. So let's take a look at this graph. Let us identify, of course, the extreme values. We are referring to the maximum and minimum. Here we have 2, 6. This one is the maximum value and this one is the minimum value this one is 2 6 and this one is 6 negative examples six. one find the extrema of the function f of x equals 15x plus x cubed minus 9x squared minus 20 on the interval negative 1 1 so it says here we need to of course find that derivative of this one and then after that we equate it to zero so let us get now the derivative of this this one is f prime of x or it can be dy over dx or it can be y prime so we have the derivative of 15x over dx plus the derivative of x cubed over dx minus the derivative of 9x squared over dx minus the derivative of 20 over dx. So, we have f prime of x is equal to the derivative of 15x is 15 plus the derivative of this is 3x squared using power rule. That is, you take this down 3 and then you subtract 1 from the exponent. Minus, this one is 9 times 2. This is 18x. So, 2 minus 1 is, of course, 1. And then, the derivative of a constant is 0. So, after this one, we need to equate it to 0. So, this is 3x squared minus 18x plus 15. So, I just arrange it into its proper... Form. So this one is 3x squared minus 18x plus 15. Let us see whether we can factor it. This one is 3x and this one is x. This one is minus, I will be using 3 and 5, minus 5. So negative times negative is positive. This one is 3x and this one is negative 18 negative 15 so we have negative 3 and negative 15 we have negative 18 x that's correct so therefore our critical points are let us equate each factor to 0 so this is 3 equals 3x divided by 3 divided by 3 x is equal to 1 the other one we have x minus 5 equals 0 so, x is equal to 5. Okay. So, the two values are x equals 1 and x equals 5. And these are the critical points. But, we are only after, of course, this interval, negative 1, 1. So, therefore, we will be getting this one only. 
it's positive Since 1. Since we are only after negative 1 and positive 1, we will not be including 5 anymore. Okay, so how do we do that? We will evaluate f of negative 1, of course. This is 15 times negative 1 plus negative 1 cubed minus 9 times negative 1 squared minus 20. Of course, from the original value of the function. So we have f of negative 1 equals negative 15, negative 1, negative 9, negative 20. So f of negative 1 is equal to negative, this one is negative 45. So we have the point negative 1, negative 45. Okay, so what about the other? The other is f of 1. So we have 15 times 1 plus 1 cubed minus 9 times 1 squared minus 20. So we have f of 1 is equal to 15 plus 1 minus 9 minus 20. So f of 1 is equal to 15, 16 minus 29. So we have negative 13. So this is f of 1. So we have the point 1, negative 13. You figure out which one is of course lower. Is this the lower or the minimum point or is this one? So if you will analyze it, this is negative 1, negative 45. Your y here is negative 45. Therefore, this one is the minimum. And this one is, of course, the maximum. Therefore, these are, of course, the extrema of the function. Number two, find the extrema of the function g of x equals x raised to 4 minus 4x cubed plus 4x squared minus 3 on the interval 0, 2. So we have here, okay, that's correct. Let us find now the first derivative. This one is derivative of x raised to 4 over dx minus derivative of 4x cubed over dx plus the derivative of 4x squared over dx minus the derivative of 3 over dx. Okay, so g prime of x is equal to, this one is 4x cubed minus, this is 12x squared, this one is 8x. Derivative of 3, which is constant, is of course 0. Okay. So, we can equate now this one into 0. So, we have 4x cubed minus 12x squared plus 8x. Okay. So, we get the common factor. The common factor is 4x. This one now becomes, of course, x squared. This one is negative 3x. And this one is positive 2. So we can factor this now. This is x minus 2, x minus 1. So this is 2x, this one is negative x, so we have negative 3x. Now, let us equate each factor to 0. We have 0 equals 4x divided by 4 divided by 4, x equals 0. That is the first critical point. The second critical point will be x minus 2 equals 0, so x is equal to 2. This is the second critical point. And the third is x minus 1 equals 0, so x is equal to 1. This one is the third critical point. So the critical points are 0, 1, 2, and of course they are all in this interval, 0, 2. So let us evaluate g of 0. We have 0 raised to 4 minus 4 times 0 cubed plus 4 times 0 squared minus 3. So this one is 0, 0, 0. G of 0 is equal to negative 3. So we have the point 0, negative 3. Next, G of 1. We have 1 raised to 4 minus 4, 1 cubed plus 4, 1 squared minus 3. This one is 1 minus 4 plus 4 minus 3. 
So we have here negative 2. This one is G of 1. So we have the point 1, negative 2. And the last, we have here G of 2. This one is 2 raised to 4, minus 4, 2 cubed, plus 4, 2 squared, minus 3. So we have 16, minus 8 times 4 is 32, 4 times 4 is 16, minus 3. So we have here 16, 16, 32 minus 32 is 0, we have negative 3. So this is G of 2. So our point here is 2, negative 3. Okay. So if you will compare the 3, of course, which is the highest? The highest is this one. This is the maximum. And we have this relative minimum point that is 0, negative 3 and 2, negative 3. It is because they have the same value of y. So this is the minimum. And this one is also the minimum. We call this one as relative minimum. Minimum.